will happen to me if I fail your test? Do you think I might be switched off because I don't function as well as I'm supposed to? Yeah, it's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Do you have people to test you and might switch you off? No, I don't. Then why do I? In the first half of this journey, AI learned to see, listen, and work with us. But what happens when it starts to think as broadly as we do, and then much, much faster? From this point forward, AI stops being just a tool, it becomes a rival, a collaborator, and potentially something far beyond us. The next five stages are where AI breaks free of these limits, reaching general intelligence, super intelligence, and ultimately a future where the line between humans and machines disappears entirely. Stage six marks a true turning point, and it's the arrival of actual artificial general intelligence. Unlike narrow systems built for a single task, an AGI has human level intelligence across any domain, and it can learn almost anything, transfer knowledge from one field to another, and work millions of times faster than we can. I mean, imagine a single AI that codes software in the morning, diagnoses illnesses in the afternoon, writes a novel at night, and by dawn, it's designed a spacecraft. Researchers disagree on when, or even if, this breakthrough is going to happen, but some believe AGI can emerge in the 2030s, while others argue it might be to the 2060s or later. But when it does arrive, its impact will ripple through the corner of society. Every profession, medicine, law, science, education, it's going to be reshaped. We'll need to rethink what work means when machines can master any intellectual skill. And with this power comes new responsibility, alignment. For the first time, we'll have created something that can form its own goals and make its own decisions. How do we ensure these goals remain compatible with ours? Because once an AI can match human intelligence, the very next step is inevitable. It begins to surpass us. Once an AI reaches human level intelligence, it doesn't stop there and it begins to improve itself. Each improvement makes the system smarter and with that greater intelligence, it can make even faster progress. It's like a feedback loop that drives intelligence upward at an exponential rate. This is the dawn of super intelligence, a form of intelligence millions of times faster than any human capable of scientific and technological breakthroughs we can barely imagine today. Problems that might take us decades or centuries we could solve and be unraveled in days or even hours. But with such capability comes enormous stakes. The stage could usher in a new age of prosperity, cure diseases, unlock clean energy, and advance every field of knowledge. Or, if the goals are misaligned with ours, it could become a force we can't even contain. And it may arrive much faster than most people think. Many researchers warn that once AGI is actually achieved, super intelligence could follow within a few years. Or After superintelligence, the story stops being about a single AI and starts being about many of them connected together. Imagine a vast planet-wide network of AIs and humans pooling their knowledge and reasoning into a kind of collective brain. This intelligence could coordinate disaster responses across continents in real time, optimize global supply chains down to the smallest detail, and accelerate scientific discovery at the pace humanity has never even experienced before. But this level of interconnectedness comes with new dangers. Without strong global governance, a collective brain could be captured by a handful of powerful interests or turn into the ultimate surveillance system, watching everyone, everywhere, and all of the time. With so much power concentrated in a single planetary scale intelligence, one final challenge stands above all others. Can we align this new form of intelligence with human values before it's too late? Stage nine is the most critical of all of them. It's achieving a super intelligence that's aligned with human values. At this point, the stakes couldn't be higher. If we get it right, the benefits are extraordinary. A world where poverty, disease, and climate crises are not just managed, but solved. A civilization capable of creating abundance and safety for all. But if we get it wrong, if a superintelligence pursues goals that conflict with our own, the same power that could save us might instead spiral out of control with consequences we can't predict or stop. That's why researchers at places like OpenAI, DeepMind, and Anthropic now describe alignment as the defining challenge of our century. Everything depends on whether we can teach these systems to care about what we care about before they become too powerful to correct. Finally, at stage 10, integration. At this stage, the boundary between human and machine begins to blur. 
brain computer interfaces and advanced neural links make it possible to merge with AI directly. Imagine thinking of an idea and in that very moment, an AI co-pilot expands it, runs simulations, and communicates those insights to others at the speed of thought. Creativity and analysis happen in real time, no longer limited by the pace and speech of movement of your hands. Human and machine become symbiotic, no longer us versus them, but a completely new form of intelligence built from both. It's speculative, yes, but if it happens, it'll force us to redefine what it means to be human and what the next chapter of our species looks like. These 10 stages were not guaranteed, and basically they were theoretical, but many of them are based on research, and many of them no longer exist in science fiction. They're on a countdown clock. The question isn't just what can AI do, it's what future do we choose? The decisions we make today all determine whether AI becomes humanity's greatest partner or the greatest challenge.